Hello statistics fans, it's me again and obviously you guys never get tired of normal distributions. So I want to talk to you for a minute about this idea of minimums and maximums. Once again, nagging me says 50% of the data above the mean, 50% of the data below the mean, 100% of the data under the curve knowing that a z-score is nothing more than the number of standard deviations that a given value of x falls above and below the mean. And for those of you who know me, know that I love my magic formula. So let's see what this kind of problem looks like. Okay, Wanda, still in the high-quality dog widget business, and she had a recent salary survey that indicated that the standard deviation of her employees' salaries is $100 and the salaries were normally distributed. She wants to give the lowest 2.5% of her wage earners a bonus this year. So the people who make the least amount of money in her widget factory are going to get a bonus. But she needs to know what is the cutoff. So what's the maximum salary someone can earn and be eligible for the bonus? So we're going to use this four-step process. We're going to determine the value we're solving for, Calculate an area under the curve, look up a z-score, use the magic formula. So when I convert this problem to a graphical interpretation, what we were told is that she wants to earn, reward the lowest 2.5%. Well, since we knew she wanted to reward her lowest paid employees, we automatically knew that it was just these people in the lower end of the curve. And we also know that she wants a cutoff. So what's the maximum that they can make here, this unknown value of X, and still be in this two and a half, lowest two and a half percent? So I know that the mean is a thousand and I know my standard deviation is a hundred. So now what I've got to figure out is how much data falls between this unknown value of x and the mean of the distribution. And since I know that this whole side of the distribution is 50%, if I take 2.5% away from 50%, what I end up with is 0.475. Percent of the data between this unknown value of x and the mean of the distribution. Since we're inside of the curve, we're going to go inside of the table and I need to find the z-score that is associated with 47.5 percent of the data located between x and the mean. So I come down here to my table and I start digging around and I'm going 46 47, ah, there it is, 0 0.4750. So I know that it's 1.9, and then this is the zero column, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I know that 1.96 is the z-score that's associated with 0.4750% of the data. So I'm going to take this z-score of 1.96 and I'm going back up to the previous frame and use my magic formula. All right, so I know that this value falls 1.96 standard deviations from the mean, but I also know that it falls a negative 1.96 standard deviations from the mean. So I'm going to use my formula to say that x is equal to the mean, which is a thousand, plus z, which in this case is a negative, 1.96 times the value of the standard deviation, this hundred dollars. And I'm going to reduce and I'm going to say it's a thousand dollars minus a hundred and ninety six dollars so now I know that X is equal to 
eight hundred and four dollars. So what I know is that two and a half percent of Wanda's employees make less than eight hundred and four dollars, which puts them in the lowest two and a half percent of her employees' wages and that those people are going to get a bonus. So this is truly the maximum amount you can earn and still be in the lowest two and a half percent. See you around.